All right, we're dealing with another storm system headed our way here for tomorrow. Another alert day in effect here for your Tuesday. And this one, uh, when we issue these alert days, we issue them both for inconvenient weather, but also for weather that could potentially cause some problems for you. It looks like tomorrow is one of those days. Flooding is going to be a decent threat as well as uh, the potential for some strong winds across the air that could cause some, cause some issues there, including power outages and perhaps trees coming down. So nothing going on right now across the area. We are dry, but the storm system that we're watching is still just off to our south and west. Should arrive by tomorrow morning. Tonight, overall, though, looks quiet. Temperatures are chilly. We're down to 32 here in Baltimore, 28 up towards Bel Air. I am not concerned about wintry weather with this system. It looks like we are going to be warm enough by the time the precipitation starts that it will be rain. But notice how quick the rain chances ramp up by late morning into the afternoon. 100% probability for rain. And once it starts, it is not going to stop all day long and it will continue through tomorrow evening. Let me show you this fire hose of moisture that we're going to be dealing with. Look at this, all this headed our way. And uh, storms extending farther towards the south and west down around the Gulf Coast. They're going to have a significant severe weather outbreak tonight across parts of the Gulf Coast, including Baton Rouge and New Orleans, down towards Gulfport, Mobile down towards Pensacola and Tallahassee eventually here by tomorrow morning. One of the reasons why is because this thing called the low-level jet, and this is strong winds that are about 5,000 feet above the ground. What I want to show you is how this thing creeps towards our area by tomorrow afternoon. Notice how these white colors start showing up here. That low-level jet is what's going to help bring some of those stronger winds southward. At least the low-level jet will contribute to those stronger winds as they get pulled down from the upper parts of the atmosphere down towards the ground. That's why we're expecting a heightened threat for strong winds winds here for tomorrow, particularly tomorrow evening when that low level jet passes over. So a high threat for heavy rainfall. Flooding is going to be an issue, both coastal flooding as well as freshwater flooding. And we're going to be watching the area rivers too for potential water rises. And of course, those wind gusts that I was just talking about. Wind advisory in effect. I showed this earlier. This is for the Baltimore area. Most of the region actually under these uh, wind advisories here that goes uh, really through tomorrow evening into early Wednesday. 50 to 55 mile an hour wind gusts could cause some trees to come down and some tree limbs and some scattered power outages. Greater threat for more significant winds across southern Maryland, the lower eastern shore. That's where we have a high wind warning in effect. Could have sustained winds 25 to 40 miles an hour with some gusts potentially over 60. As we take a look at the future cast winds for tomorrow, throughout the day they should be about 25 to 35, but it's really not until tomorrow evening that we're going to start to see these wind gusts ramping up. Notice here by Tuesday evening, 7 o'clock, we've got wind gusts uh, 40, 50, 60 miles per hour here through 9 o'clock tomorrow night, and then gradually those winds are going to start to die down by late tomorrow night, early to, uh, Wednesday morning, but they're still going to be relatively strong. So here's what you need to do. You need to secure those loose items outdoors, particularly tomorrow morning, before things really start getting ramped up. Charge your cell phones and your tablets. Make sure your sump pump is working, given all the rain that we're expecting, and also Probably a good idea also to clear out some of those spouts and storm drains and avoid parking in some of those vulnerable spots. Again, we're expecting two to three inches of rainfall. Some areas could see upwards of four, and there's pretty decent model agreement with our forecast models that we're going to see generally about two to three inches of rainfall across the area. You can see about two to two and a half, depending on what model you look at. And of course, we got the coastal flood threat that we're going to be watching as well. And a lot of this is going to be coming during high tide. For example, Haver to Grace looks like high tide will be coming Wednesday morning between at 8 a.m. and at 8 p.m. So you're going to have two tide cycles here during the day Wednesday, and that's going to cause one to two feet of uh, water above ground, at least inundation. We're also looking at uh, here in Baltimore, uh, the northern west branch of the Patasco River, moderate flooding at high tide, 4 a.m. on Wednesday. So we're still going to have coastal flooding issues here into early Wednesday, two to three feet of uh, water above dry ground. Also over towards Bowley's Quarters, high tide on Wednesday early at 4 a.m., two to three feet once again there. And uh, down towards Annapolis, we're looking at uh, again, high tide coming at about 2 a.m. on your Wednesday, 4 p.m. coming up on Wednesday. So two tide cycles there with two to three feet of inundation over on the eastern shore over in the Talbot County, Claiborne. Uh, looks like a high tide coming in at about 2 a.m. on Wednesday, one to two feet of water above dry ground. So it just kind of gives you an idea of where, depending on where you are, your tide cycles are going to be different. Of course, your coastal flood threat will be different, but there is going to be significant coastal flooding with the winds that we're expecting tomorrow. Alert day in effect. We're going to have to watch Friday for another similar storm system with similar threats. So we'll have this one to deal with tomorrow and another one on Friday. But in between, Wednesday will be breezy, but at least we won't be talking about any rain anymore. It'll be dry. Temperatures on Thursday, 52. Should be the nicest day of the week, and then turning much colder as we get towards the latter part of the weekend. Vic, back to you.
Derek, thank you for more first story weather and updated news. Check in with Cena Gabra at Tim Williams and Meg McNamara tomorrow morning on WJZ starting at 4:30 a.m.